Hi everyone. Previously, I would like to say thank you for watching the natural science learning video that I have made. Okay. On this occasion, I want to explain to you about biology subjects in the 8th grade of junior high school, more specifically about plant cells. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Tikwan Ayuti. I am from Natural Science Education Program Study, University of Ternojoya, Madura. To save time, let's go straight to discussion lesson about plant cells. The subject to be discussed in the learning video about plant cells consists of four subtopics, namely definition of plant cells, characteristics, types, and structure of plant cells. First discussion about Definition of plant cells Wow, please look at the picture. What do you see in the picture? Yes, the picture is a mango tree. As we know before, mango tree is an example of plant that is easy for us to meet every day. Either on a mango tree or the plant itself is an example of an organism that living on earth in biology we know that each organism is composed of smaller parts which become the basic substances to carry out the function of life and the basic substances are what we call cell so the mango tree is also composed of cells and because mango tree include two plants, the mango tree cells include the plant cell types. Plant cells can be defined by three defining categories. Basic unit, eukaryotic cells, and basic building block. Plant cells are the basic unit of life in the organism of the kingdom plantae with specialized structures called organelles, which are included in kingdom plantae such as ferns, angiosperms, gymnosperms, and various types of moss. The next definition, plant cells are eukaryotic cells or cells with a membrane-bound nucleus. Unlike prokaryotic cells, the DNA in a plant cell is housed with in a nucleus that is enveloped by a membrane. Animals, fungi, and protists also have eukaryotic cells, while bacteria and archaea have simpler prokaryotic cells. The last definition plant cells. Plant cells are the basic building block of plant life and they carry out all of the function necessary for survival. Photosynthesis, the making of food from light energy, carbon dioxide, and water occurs in the chloroplast of the cell. The energy molecule ATP is produced through cellular respiration in the mitochondria. Second discussion about characteristic of plant cell. There are six characteristic of plant cell. First, Plant primary cell walls are constructed on the outside of the membrane and are composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, and pectin. This contrasts with the cell walls of fungi, which are made of chitin, of bacteria, which are made of peptidoglycan, and of archaea, which are made of pseudopeptidoglycan. Next characteristics plant cell division takes place by construction of a pragmoplast as the template for building a cell plate laid in cytokinesis. This process is characteristic of land plants and a few group of algae. Specialized cell-to-cell -cell communication pathways known as plasmodemate occur in the form of pores in the primary cell wall through which the plasma lemma 
and endoplasmic reticulum of adjacent cells uh, continue. The next characteristic of plant cells. Plant cells contain plastid, the most notable being chloroplast, which contain the green-colored pigment chlorophyll that absorbs sunlight and allows the plant to mix its own food in the process known as photosynthesis. The next characteristic of plant cell is the motile, free-swimming sperm of bryophytes and pteridophytes are the only cell of land plants to have flagella, similar to those in animal cells. But the carnivores and flowering plants don't have motile sperm and like both flagella and centrioles. And the last characteristic of plant cell, many types of plant cells contain a large central vacuole, a water-filled volume when closed by a membrane known as the ptenoplast, that maintains the cell texture, control movement of molecules between the cytosol and sap, storage useful material, and discuss both protein and organelle. That discussion about plant cell versus animal cell. Between plant cell and animal cell have some similarities in cell organelles, including the nucleus, membrane plasma, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondrion, and Golgi apparatus. The difference is that there is chloroplast, cell wall, large vacuoles in plant cells that are not found in animal cells, but in animal cells there are centrioles and centrosome, small vacuoles, cilia or flagella, which are not found in plant cell. This can be seen in the diagram shown in this video. And the other differences are plant cells are generally larger than animal cells and animal cells are generally smaller than plant cells. Plant cells are more similar in size and are typically rectangular or cup-shaped, and animal cells come in various sizes and tend to have irregular shape. Third discussion about types of plant cells. There are five types of plant cells. Foam, xylem, parenchyme, sclerenchyme, and colenchyme. Parenchyme. Parenchyme cells are living cells that have function ranging from storage and support to photosynthesis. Parenchyme cells are the majority of cells in a plant. Parenchyme cells have thin permeable primary walls enabling the transport of small molecules between them. They are found in leaves and carry out photosynthesis and cellular respiration along with other metabolic processes. They also store substances like starches and proteins and have a role in plant wound repair. Next types of plant cells is colenchyme. Colenchyme cells are alive at maturity and have thick cellulose cell walls. Colenchyme cells are typically quite elongate and may divide and firstly to give a septate appearance. They have thick cell walls and can grow and change shape as a plant grows. Next types of plant cell is sclerenchyme. Sclerenchyme cells are hard cells that are the main supporting cells in the areas of plant that have kissed growing. Sclerenchyme cells are dead and have very thick cell walls, composed of two types of cells, sclerite and fibers, that have thickened, lignified secondary walls like down inside of the primary cell wall. The next types of the plant cell is psyllium. Psyllium cells transport mostly water and a few nutrients throughout the plant from the roots to the stem and leaves. Psyllium 
composed of water conducting tracheid or vessel elements together with pipes and parenchyme cell and the last types of plant cells is phloem phloem cells transport nutrients made during photosynthesis to all parts of a plant they transport sap which is a water solution high in sugars long pressure gradient generated by osmosis a phenomenon called translocation phloem consisting the sieve tops and the intimately associated companion cells together with parenchyme cells plum fibers and sclerae this picture show to you about types of plant cells there are five or discussion about structure of plant cell the plant cell has many different part each part of the cell has a specialized function the structures are called organelle look at this picture this picture shows the various parts of a plant cell plant cells contain many membrane bound cellular structures These organelles carry a specific function necessary for survival, normal operation of the cells. The following are examples of structure and organelle that can be found in a plant cell. Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a membrane-bound compartment which look like flattened sacs lying side by side. It's a large network of interconnecting membrane tunnels. In the plasmic reticulum composed of both rough in the plasmic reticulum and smooth in the plasmic reticulum the main function is responsible for protein translation and transport aid in sequestration of calcium production and storage of glycogen and other macro molecules the next plant cell organelle is nucleus Nucleus is a membrane-bound structure that contains the cell hereditary information or DNA. Nucleus composed of nucleolus and nucleopore. The main function is direct all the activities of the cell like regulate the growth and division of the cell and also help in protein formation. The next plant cell organelle is Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex or Golgi body look like the endoplasmic reticulum and are situated near the nucleus. It's referred to as the cell packaging center. The main function is to process and package macromolecules synthesized from other parts of the cell. Chloroplast Chloroplast has oval shaped and have two membranes. Chloroplast contain many flattened discs called thylakoid and they are stacked on top of one another in stacks called grana. There are another space in chloroplast called stroma. The main function of chloroplast is carry out the process of photosynthesis. The next plant cell organelle is vacuole. Vacuole known as cell storage center, membrane bound organelles. Perform function of secretion, excretion, and storage. The next organelle is mitochondria. Mitochondria surround the by two membranes. The main function of mitochondria is convert glucose to energy molecules or ATP. Mitochondrion possess their own hereditary material which help in cell duplication and multiplication. The next plant organelle is ribosome. Ribosome is smallest and the most abundant cell organelle. Comprises of 
RNA and protein found in all cells and ribosome is site for protein synthesis. Cell wall Cell wall is a rigid layer that surrounds the plant cell, primarily made up of cellulose. Cell wall consists of three layers, primary cell wall, secondary cell wall, and the middle lamella. The main function is to provide rigidity, strength, protection against mechanical stress and infection. Plasmodesm is microscopic channels which traverse the cell walls of plant cells and enable transport and communication between them. Cell membrane Cell membrane is a double phospholipid layer surround the entire cell. The cell membrane is semi-permeable allowing only specific substances to pass through and blocking others. The next organelle is lysosome. Lysosome contains digestive enzyme. The main function is digest excess or worn out organelles, food particles, and any foreign bodies. Next organelle is paroxysm. Paroxysms are tiny, single membrane bound structures that contain enzymes which produce hydrogen peroxide as a byproduct. And the last part of plant cell is cytoplasm. It is a gel like matrix inside enclosed by the cell membrane. The main function is support cell organelles and also prevent the cell from bursting or shrinking. Apparently, we have entered the end of this video. Thank you for watching the natural science learning video that I have made. Hopefully, from this video, it can be useful and increase our knowledge and insight, especially about plant cells. And I'm sorry if there are many mistakes in this video, but from the words or concept of plant cells. Thank you and see you next time.